The Bible says, Ask of me. And I'll give you the nations for your inheritance. We should come to church spending hours praying that God will rescue all the human beings here as his inheritance. See, our purpose is not to gather few Ghanaians and sing Amen. Our purpose is this flag. In a world longing for hope, compassion, and understanding, the Evangelism Ministry of the Church of Pentecost, USA Inc., is continuing its devotion to embark on the transformative journey to possess the nations for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is the center of our fundamental beliefs and core values as a Pentecostal church. Join us as we explore the extraordinary stories of faith, resilience, selfless service through evangelism and witnessing the gospel to the nations of the world. Sons of God, march forward, victory to the blood of Jesus. Possessing the nations, I am an agent of transformation. We thank God so much for yet another year. By God's grace, Internal Missions Week activities is here again. Sons of God, oh hallelujah, sons of God, march forward. We want to thank each and every one of you for the opportunity to come your way. May the Lord continue to bless you for all that you do for the Lord. Once again, we are celebrating the Internal Missions Week 2023. And the theme selected by the leadership is repositioning the local church as so winning ambassadors to impact our nations. As part of our obedience to the Great Commission, we must ensure that the gospel is proclaimed in all nations, wherever people reside. To achieve this objective, every member of the local church must be a soul winner, bringing people into the church and helping to build the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. Internal Missions Week allows us to embark on the Great Commission here in COP USA and the nations around us. This year, guided by the team repositioning the local church as so winning ambassadors for maximum impact in the nations, taken from Proverbs 11, 30, 2 Corinthians 5, 18 to 20. Apostle Paul made a passionate appeal to the church in Corinth that through Christ they have been reconciled to God. And therefore, they have been given the ministry of reconciliation and as ambassadors. God is counting on you and I and calling you that as ambassadors, we have to arise and proclaim the good news. Challenged by this team, every member of the local church must be a soul winner, bringing people into the church, helping build the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven as we spread the good news. To be able to achieve this, we want to encourage intentional personal evangelism whereby every member will passionately win a soul for Christ by the end of the year and do everything within their ability to disciple them for them to become members of the church. By the grace of God we could see that you and your loved ones, the local church, have supported this mission for so long. Every year we come your way. For the past seven years, by the grace of God, we are able to enter into 14 countries because of your prayer support, your financial support, and your encouragement. Recently, we have sent last year five missionaries to missions. This year, we send in another five missionaries to missions because the lord is using you to support and keep on planting churches in these nations 
in our home country, COP USA, the Spanish churches that we planted, the Indian churches that we are able to plant, the um, Swahili churches that we are able to plant, and the new assemblies that we continue to plant in our nation, supporting them with your resources. This is how far the Lord has brought us, and we appreciate you for that. The church in the United States has not only spearheaded planting churches in the Americas and Caribbean, but has also sent missionaries to these budding churches. From South Korea, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Chile to Honduras, to El Salvador, Ecuador, Guatemala, Guyana, Dominican Republic, Panama, Colombia, and Argentina. The mission to possess nations is on. Recently, we had the opportunity to visit about six countries, even as we prepare some of these places for the missionaries that are going. Our first stop was in El Salvador. By the grace of God, the church in El Salvador is growing. We recently brought in one young minister into full-time ministry by the grace of God. Looking at it, about 75% of the membership in El Salvador are young people. That means that we have a future in that country. The church in USA purchased a piece of land for them. Recently, when we visited them, we realized that they have outgrown their place of worship. So they've started something in uh, a place where we purchase for them. I pray that during this season, we'll be able to support them to complete that building. Recently, in our visit, we visited Honduras. But because you help us build a church, building there for them, the church is growing. They are able to raise leaders in that place. They are able to plant about five churches in Honduras now. We're sending a new missionary to Honduras, and the national head of Honduras is also going to another mission, meaning we've grown ministers from these new places that we planted, churches. We want to thank God for what the Lord is doing. No journey is without its obstacles. Our missionaries encountered various challenges, from language barriers to resource limitations, as they embark on this rescue mission. However, it is their unwavering faith and the support of the church that enables them to overcome these hurdles. The church in Trinidad and Tobago has seen tremendous growth through the power of Jesus. The current resident missionary, Pastor Dr. Ebenezer Otu Nyarko, shares their progress. Praise God, sons of God, sons of God, march forward, march forward. Victory through the blood of Jesus. In fact, we have overcome through the blood of Jesus. My name is Pastor Dr. Ebenezer Otu Nyarko the missionary in charge of the church in Trinidad and Tobago. We come your way just to thank you. We say a big thank you to you for your prayer support or for your material support, for everything that you do for us, for the gospel of Christ to be preached and for souls to be won. So we want to say that God richly bless all of you, especially our leaders, Apostle Ajima Namuako and all the executive members in the u.s and everything that you are doing for the gospel to be preached and also for souls to be won when we came in 2021 there were about 15 people in the church but now to the glory of god we have about 70 people souls are being won every day people are giving their lives to christ we are back on crusade street evangelism house to house evangelism and souls are responding to the gospel of, of Christ. 
When we came, our church building was very small, but to the glory of God, we've been able to expand. And we still need to do more expansion because the people keep coming to Christ. Uh, one thing too that we have done that has helped us in the propagation of the gospel is we teach the youth in the community how to play musical instruments, how to play musical instruments. So they come to the church, sometimes they don't even have anybody in the church in terms of their parents. But because they are being trained and they are being taught how to play these musical instruments, they go and they bring their parents, and their parents come to church and give their lives to Christ as well. So this has helped us a lot. We want to pray to God that He will give us more wisdom, more knowledge, more insight as to what to do to bring more people to Christ. And also when we came, we had just one elder. But now to God's glory, we have two elders, we have two deacons, and we have three deaconesses. To God be the glory. Uh, the church is growing and the church is really marching on. We have a few challenges and some of these challenges we want to pray that God will touch your hearts to support us uh, in overcoming these challenges. We know you've done so much for us, but we still pray that God will touch your heart to give bountifully to support the work of missions. Missions work is all about money. Some people will come to church, they don't have money even to take transportation back and they will come to you, Pastor, how do we go home? can fix us some money and all this. So we are praying that God will lay on someone's heart to bless us with a means of transport whereby we can go around, pick all these people, bring them to church and also take them back and also something to support us in terms of fuel to, 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 to move these cars around and all that. So we pray that somebody's heart will be touched by this. And I know that once we get this, this church is going to we're going to go into multiple services because there are so many people that you touch but the distance from there to where we worship is so far and they cannot come but then if we have a means of transport to go around and pick all these things, people we're going to run multiple services right here in trinidad and and, and tobago so we want to pray and also to tell all of us listening to us now that may god touch your heart to be a means and a channel of blessings to some who need the gospel to be preached to. Also, we need a bigger place of worship. A bigger place of worship where we worship is very small. Though we have expanded, but the people keep coming to Christ and we need a bigger place of worship. So these are the two main challenges that we have. We want God to touch your heart as you do all the time. So that when it is time for, for, for giving, you want to give bountifully to support the work of missions, to support the work of missions. We want to say, God bless you for everything that you do to support us, those of us in the missions field. Sometimes it's not easy, but the grace of God and your prayer keep us true. So please don't stop praying for us. Don't stop calling us. Don't stop supporting us because we are who we are today because of what you do for us. And we think, we say, God richly bless you. May God touch your heart even today as we prepare us to give unto the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Amen. He, Amen. he was wounded yes. for our transgression. Yes. Can you say that after me? He was wounded, he was wounded. for my transgression. As missionaries are sent and return home, the Great Commission doesn't end. The seed of the gospel takes root, leading to a lasting change. Inspired by their experiences, dedication, faith, and tenacity for the clarion call to possess the nations for Christ, let us not waver in supporting them in prayers and all other resources to push the kingdom agenda. And as they have answered the call, let us join them in the move. That missions has become very expensive. I visited a place in Colombia. Recently, we've started a church in Colombia and we're sending a missionary there. When we went there, the housing where we, the two bedroom apartment that we're looking for, for the missionary who is going there is very, very expensive. A place of worship that we want to create for them is very expensive. Going to Costa Rica, 
we send in another missionary to Costa Rica. The place that we rent in, they charge them uh, like 2000 for two bedroom apartment, $2,000. Almost like here, the ministry and mission work have become very expensive. But I know that without your support, we will not be able to do that. That is why we're counting on you. So that together we'll be able to get places of worship for these new locations. We went to Barbados where we're trying to send another missionary this year. And looking at it, that place is very, very expensive. Getting a small place of worship could cost you over $3,000. And I'm saying $3,000. But we know that we have an agenda to be able to win all these people all over the world because God has told us that he will give us this nation as our inheritance. It is your responsibility and my responsibility as so winning ambassadors to get into all these countries so that together we will win every winnable soul for the Lord. It is because of your support that is why we are able to uh, partner with leaders in all these countries. One of the places that we visited is Dominican Republic this year. And to the glory of God, the Lord, the Lord is expanding our territory in that country. Pastor Tete and Mrs. Veronica Tete is doing very well. Within a short time, they are able to learn the language and they're ministering in the language, translating. Uh, when I started ministering, I saw Mama Vicky translating for me. And the young people that they brought around, the way the church is growing, over there too, we've started another project. We're trying to build a church for them. By the grace of God, the previous leadership started a place and we want to continue to finish that place for them. We want to also build a mission house in Dominican Republic. The key thing here is that we don't want to keep sending money to the mission, but we want them to be self-supported. And one of the ways that we could do that is that if we are able to get them a place of worship that they own, uh, a mission house that they own, and you send a missionary there, then you don't have to worry about them because they'll be able to raise money internally to support the missionary and the expansion of the church. Once in a while, then we will be able to send a support to them. We want to encourage you that the work that the Lord has started in this all these countries that we're talking about is never going to be in vain. We know that your resources and your prayer support for this course will also flourish in the ministry and the Lord will continue to bless you. We want to encourage intentional prayers, passionate prayers for our missionaries in the work of mission so that God will grant them the needed grace and the ability even to sustain spreading the good news. Church planting is one of our key areas that we are looking forward to. Last year, to God be the glory, we were able to plant about 25 churches here in America, within about 1,088 souls. Outside of USA, beyond our borders, we were able to make inroads in Virgin Island, Costa Rica, Barbados, and other countries. By maximum impact, we are able to do more. We want to also invade the cyberspace. Uh, online involvement by way of internet whereby we express the good news through social media. To that end, we want to appeal for your financial resources and support because without money, there's no way we can advance the kingdom work. Make sure you give a maximum impact offering as never before and give bountifully, especially on Sunday. Once again, I want to encourage all of you as we celebrate this wonderful day, the Internal Missions Week. My encouragement to you is to support the agenda of God. In Psalm chapter 2, verse 8, the Bible shared with us that ask me and I will give you nations as your inheritance, the end of the earth as your possession. Missions is the heartbeat of God, and he wants to encourage all of us to participate in this activity. Support with our heart 
support with our prayer and your financial support will take the church to another height. By the grace of God, as I mentioned earlier on, now in our internal missions, we are able to call two ministers, two ministers in the Spanish community as bivocational ministers. Eventually, there are other nationals that we're going to bring them in to be able to help us continue on the work. But all these resources need your financial support. And that is why we come your way. This year, we need to go to Belize to replant the church that we started before. British Virgin Island, we need to go there. Thank God, Maryland region have done awesome work by helping us to uh, plant a church in Virgin, U.S. Virgin Island. To the glory of God, this year we send them a missionary there. We want to go to a place like Venezuela and other places. But without your prayer support and financial support, it will be very difficult to do that. As we march on and celebrate the success that the Lord has given to us about 14 countries for the past seven years, that we are able to plant churches there. It is amazing what the Lord is doing, what your financial support is doing. We want to encourage you as you give all the time. This time, we want you to give the double portion of your resources, even as we support this cause. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may the blessings that comes out of the missions work be your portion and the portion of your family. We love you. COP USA appreciate your constant support. Your labor will never be in vain. May the Lord God Almighty bless us all, even as we celebrate our internal missions week. I want to express our profound gratitude and appreciation to the chairman of the church, Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the general secretary of the church, Apostle Alexander Nanaya Kumi, the IMD, Apostle Emmanuel Ajiman Bequen. Worthy of commendation is our national head. Apostle Michael Ajiman Mwakon, the National Executive Council, the Apostles, regional heads, the pastorate, and then the ministry leadership, beginning from the national level, regional, district, local, and then we come to the members. How can we advance the kingdom's work without the massive collaboration, cooperation, and support of the members? You are absolutely wonderful and amazing. And I want to say thank you so much for your support over the years. I pray that as you support this worthy cause, may God grant all of your heart desires in this year 2023. God bless you. As we celebrate the Missions Week, we want to thank our Chairman IMD for their constant support and the international leadership. Also the leadership in COP USA, executive and the heads for their numerous contribution, their support, their ideas that are helping us to be able to achieve this massive uh, increase in the area of missions. The missions board in COP USA, may the Lord continue to bless you. Once again, Apostle uh, Enchi and his team, the Evangelism Ministry. What can we say about the great work that you are doing? May the Lord continue to bless you. Please let us uh, encourage them. Let us pray for them so that they will be able to do the work of evangelism. The work is very tedious, but we appreciate the work that Apostle Anchi, um, Elder Hens, and all the team members are doing. Thank God this year the evangelism ministry is going to be taken to another level, becoming a directrix uh, to the glory of God. We know with this vision 
having someone in the missions office handling the work in the missions and having another department handling the evangelism in the nation a crusade uh, in the nation metropolitan church planting in the nation will cause the church to move to another height we appreciate all the leadership even us we celebrate this wonderful day <laughs>